Hello my friends, Bearski here. This guide does not require a phone or PC at any point. You don't even need to turn on developer mode or get a developer account to get this to work. And with that, I know why you're here. So out of respect, let's get to it. Step one, click on quick settings on the dashboard and ensure that the multi-window feature is turned on. You can tell it's on if it's blue and your browser window is huge and curved. Step two, Go to the Meta Store, either by going through App Library or by clicking this yellow icon on the dashboard. Step 3. Search for Mobile VR Station. If the keyboard does not open, then you will need to restart your Quest 2 as the app that handles the keyboard has crashed. Step 4. Click on the Mobile VR Station app and click on View in Store. Click on OK on the Available Through App Lab prompt. Click Download. Step 5. Special note for Step 5. If you already have a Microsoft Outlook account, then you can skip this step. A Microsoft account is recommended in case you want to play Minecraft VR with only using your headset. I do have a guide on setting that up if you wish to look it up. Now click on the App Library on your dashboard. Go to the MetaQuest browser. Go to Outlook.com. Click Sign In on the top right. Click on No Account. Create one. Make an email address you can remember. Create a password you can remember. Add a first and last name. Choose your country or region. And your birth date. Do the verification puzzle. Beauty. Step 6. Create a new tab in the browser. Go to SciQuestVR.com. Click on Sign Up. Enter that easy to remember email. Go back to the Outlook Email Outlook tab that we didn't close. Now find the verification code and punch in the code on SideQuestVR.com and click Verify. Fill in your data and click Sign Up. Step 7. Click on the search bar at the top and type in SideQuest VR. Click on the SideQuest VR app. Scroll down and click on the link beside Download APK directly. It should be above the news feed. Click on App Release APK. You'll get a prompt saying that it's downloading. Step 8. Click and hold the tab at the top of the browser and drag it to the window holder on the left as I do here. Step 9. Go to App Library and click on Mobile VR Station. Step 10. Click Allow for the Allow Permissions folder. Special note for this app. It has an odd feature where if you hover over a selectable object, it will click on that object within three to five seconds. Please be aware of that. Now click on local files, click on all folders, click on Android, click on data, click on scope storage actions, click on step one request access. 
Click on Quest 2 on the top left. Click on Download. Click on the quad arrow at the top right of apprelease.apk. If you do not get a prompt, then close Mobile VR Station and repeat the Step 10 process. Otherwise, click Continue and click Install. But be aware, you are still not done. Step 11. Open the MetaQuest browser. Create a new tab. Click, hold, and drag the tab to the left, as I do here. Step 12. Go to App Library. Click on the search bar at the top. Click the All Drop Down list and click Unknown Sources. Another special note, you may see a funnel as opposed to the drop down list. Meta keeps changing between the two each update. And this, if you do have the funnel, then click the funnel and select Unknown Sources. Then click on SideQuest. Step 13. Go to this website, sdq.st slash link on your browser to your left and punch in the code displayed on your headset and click link now. Step 14. Click allow permissions and you are 99% done. When you siloed your first app, you will get one final prompt. Just go ahead and confirm or allow and you are done. Congratulations, you just installed SideQuest without using a phone or a PC. If this guy was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, as that tells the logarithm to push this guy to more people. So don't just do this for me. Do it for everyone that has a Quest 2. And now that you have SideQuest installed, why not get modded Beat Saber? I'll provide an end video at the end of this video, and you can just click on that. The guide was created by myself, and it is still working as of August 28th. In the comments, if you would like to see another guide created for Mod Beat Saber that only uses VR mobile station, please let me know. And then with that, thank you for watching, and have a great one.